Hey everyone, it's Lo. Um, I kind of just wanted to take some time today and talk about my songwriting process and I guess why I chose music and how I got into songwriting in general, just stuff like that. Um, I don't know. I have always loved music. I mean, I guess that's how everybody really starts if they're like, they want to do music their life, they want to be a musician, they start out by loving music, or sometimes they don't. Um, I started at a pretty decent age, I'd say. Uh, eighth grade, my choir class had an assignment to write a song for just the class and either perform it or just get it played in class. And we had recently had a loss in the family, and I decided to write about that. And I guess that's where my emotional songwriting technique, I guess, comes from. So that I'm always writing about things that make me emotional. Uh, so I wrote a song about my cousin's baby brother, and I had one of my friends perform it, perform it in class, and it kind of makes me cry every time I think about it and I still have just like the majority of the lyrics um I don't have the original paper I don't think but I do have it posted on my YouTube originally <laughs> it's not the best video and there's no music actually attached to it it was just the melody that I wrote I really didn't know what I was doing uh but that was middle school and before then I hadn't really wrote anything and then I got into high school and I started doing uh, choir in 11th grade and I kind of fell in love with it and I had a bunch of friends I had my boyfriend I had all of my friends that were really supportive of me being in choir and doing practices and doing performances and doing all these things and keeping my time very focused on choir activities for two straight years. And through that, I learned how to be a musician. I learned how to sing properly. I learned, I walked into my junior year, first year in this school, and I had no idea what Soulfish was. I, mm, I kind of knew what Soulfish was. Never really sang. <laughs> like, for... We never did a lot of learning about the singing technique in my middle school choir classes, 6th to 8th grade. And we didn't really learn any of it in elementary either. So, high school was the first time that I actually did sight reading. And I learned a lot from all the people that had been doing it for years and they were really competitive and I got to go to competitions and my ensemble got state, <laughs> our entire class got state my senior year and that was one of the best experiences I've ever had as a musician um, and that was just in high school <laughs> and then turn around that next year and I went to college for music and I now have an associate's degree in music and it was one of the toughest things I've ever done. <laughs> Completely honest. I didn't think I was going to be able to handle it. It was a lot of work. And to this day, I think myself and all of my classmates, at some point or another, told each other that we hated theory. <laughs> and I think we all still do at some point, sometimes. <laughs> now, some of them have moved on to bigger and brighter things and they're still doing music, they're still doing their studying, they're moving on with their bachelors and I wish them the absolute best of luck. I am so proud of all of them and I'm just doing me. A couple of us, we stayed behind and we stayed in our small town and we are just doing what we want to do and working music into it whenever we can. And that's what I'm trying to do right now. Um, other than the song that I wrote in 8th grade, I 
started doing some creative writing on Wattpad. Uh, I don't even remember when. Um, but I had one of my characters in one of my stories have a song come to her in a dream. And I wrote that entire thing. And it's still up on my Wattpad. I don't have that linked anywhere because I'm... It's been a long time since I've written on that. And that was like the second good real song that I actually wrote. Uh, there's no music for it or anything, whatever, but I've always said that if I got around to it, I might actually develop it into a real song. I might, I don't know. Um, after college, I was kind of just like, or during college, I should say, I did a lot. I learned a lot. <laughs> I took vocal lessons with two really great teachers. I took piano lessons with an amazing teacher. I took studio classes with all of those teachers, uh, choir was absolutely my favorite, <laughs> and I met some really great people, and I made some really great friends, and I'm never gonna forget all of the times that we spent together. <laughs> um, those were some of my happiest memories of college, was the music program, because two years of my life I spent with the exact same people. <laughs> in a cramped building with three or four teachers and we did everything together. Um, yeah, I'm getting emotional on this one too, of course. <laughs> it's just what I do. But my writing really started, um, I've always had just random ideas for lyrics, I guess. Um, my first and biggest song to date <laughs> is one that's on my channel already. It's not completed yet. It won't be completed for a while. I can tell you that right now. Um, Doped Up Love. <laughs> I actually wrote that with my best friend manager over text message on my way to... Was it on the way back from Corpus Christi? Uh, for our second choir tour that we had just so happened to be able to get to go to Corpus Christi for our tour my second year my last year of college and on the way back I saw a cop car <laughs> driving past our bus and I wrote a lyric and it turned into a verse, and then I texted my best friend, who was 1,500 miles away at that point, and we basically just wrote that song over text message. And that's kind of when my songwriting skyrocketed. I just started writing random lyrics all the time. Um, I kind of make the joke now that I get my best inspiration when I'm at work, <laughs> because I'll be focused on one thing and then I'll say something or I'll think of something and an emotion gets me or something happens and I get really good ideas for little lyrics so I have to like stop and make myself remember it for when I get home or jot it down somewhere or something like that happens very often it seems like I think I've got like maybe five or six real songs done right now like other than the two that I wrote before I wrote Doped Up Love um I kind of just start with the lyrics really um lyrics are where it's at for me because I don't feel like I can make a song unless the lyrics mean something to me and that's probably a thing that a lot of people consider when they're doing music but that's where it hits home for me if I can't relate to the lyrics I don't want to sing it if I don't feel like I can connect myself to the lyrics properly I'm not gonna be happy singing about it which I hate to break it to people but that's why I didn't really like the contemporary type of style that I was learning in college. And that's not to say that I didn't love learning what I was learning. I, 
I want to be a rock singer. I don't want to sing operatic tunes. And gratefully, my teachers knew that and they were perfectly fine giving me random things to learn. My first vocal teacher uh, graciously and gratefully gave me jazz pieces to study and he said, pick a song, learn it for next week, we'll see how you do. I didn't do very well on them, I'll be honest. I'm not a good practicer. I really suck at practicing. For voice lessons, I was awful. <laughs> But, um, it got me on a path. It really did. He knew that I was inspired by jazzy pieces, so he gave me jazzy pieces to study. He told me, make yourself sound like this person and just develop a sound. Do what you want to do. And then my second vocal teacher also gave me an opportunity. I got to sing a Hamilton piece for my sophomore recital. And I was really excited because a couple of my friends from the music program got me into Hamilton and I got obsessed with the soundtrack and that was probably the coolest thing that I did for my sophomore recital. I absolutely loved it. I worked with my piano teacher on it and she was amazing and just the whole experience was really cool. Um, I just, I really love music, man. I really love music. I don't think anyone can understand. I mean, I, I do. People can understand if they love music to a certain degree. I adore music. I just, I want to learn. I want to experience sound. I want to experience lyrics. I want to experience all the different levels of everything. That's why I really felt like I was in a good place when I was studying music and I was listening to the classical stuff and I was listening to the operatic stuff and we got to explore all these different genres in our choir classes and all these different things. I absolutely loved it. But coming from a rock background when I was younger listening to Black Belt Brides and Juliet Sims and all these people that inspire me that I really want to be like and Taylor Swift and Panic at the Disco and the like, whatever. I have a really weird range. <laughs> uh, it just, it inspired me a lot to be able to want to do music. And my lyrics, my lyrics is where it's at for me. It really is. If I'm not happy with my lyrics, I don't, I don't want to make it, man. I don't know. I'm just... I feel like this is more of a why I became a musician or why I want to be a musician more than my process. But my process starts with my lyrics and once I figure out lyrics, I can either have a couple lines done or I can have just the basic melody done out and, well, the basic vocal melody at least. Um, and like I said, theory wasn't my best subject. <laughs> Um, so I didn't really understand a lot. I got through it, but I kind of just, it fell on deaf ears for a little bit. And I haven't really kept up with teaching myself anything, so I feel like I've kind of lacked what I could be at at this point. Um, I'm currently in the process of trying to teach myself guitar. Uh, reteach myself guitar because I have taken guitar lessons and I have taken vocal lessons and I have taken piano lessons but I just I need to reteach myself everything and in order to do that I need to focus on theory and I need to remember what I was taught but it's easier said than done kind of a thing so I'm gonna get better on that and that's why I was doing my covers to help me with my practice and I really kind of just go from my lyrics and depending on how I feel about it, I either go into uh, figuring out, I guess, what key I want to put something in and um, I don't 
don't know if I if I figure out what key I want it in if I figure out what key it sounds like I'll start putting together the random basic four chord progression um, the one four five and six I'll just start randomly throwing those together see how it sounds and see if any variation develops see if anything else is weird um, I guess Halloween the most recent one that I put something out for uh, on my YouTube was probably, I think that's like the second or third one that I've actually worked on piano wise. Um, that one's a really weird one. I kind I don't really remember what I was doing for that one, but it was, I figured out a couple of the chords that I wanted that to be in, but I also figured out a really weird key and it didn't make a lot of sense to my brain, but eh. I kind of just do what I do, and you guys seem to like it, so I really don't care. I, other than that, it really just depends. I haven't really gotten past that. <laughs> I mean, I have sort of for Doped Up Love. I'm trying to put stuff together for my EP that I want to put out, but I kind of just don't have the money or the access to anything that uh and time i guess really just time because i work and i do all these other things that i need to take care of um but i'm trying i promise i am and i just want to get better at what i'm doing and the people that are gonna watch this are gonna want to believe in me so i am currently working on uh, trying to produce Doped Up Love. It doesn't sound great, but I haven't really worked on it in a while, and I really just don't understand the production tracks and all that kind of production business. I don't understand it because I've never learned how to do it, so. I don't know. I feel like this is kind of it. I don't know if there's anything much else that I can say, but, uh, that makes much sense. <laughs> I hope you got something out of this. Um, yeah. Hope you check out my music on this channel. There's not much here, but my covers are pretty okay. <laughs> <laughs> I like to think so. Um, thanks for supporting. Thanks for being here. Make sure to like and subscribe and comment. See what other musicians are doing. And just be yourself. Don't be afraid of what everyone's going to think of you. Because I'm slowly but surely learning that from trying to be a musician with a following. And I don't have much. I'm just here. I'm just here to make you guys happy. I'm just here to... <sighs> that actually reminds me. Um, this one lyric that's kind of been turning into a song. I was kind of just trying to end there, but uh, that actually reminded me of that. Once I get it out, it's going to be, I think it's going to be good. I like it a lot. Um, but one of the lyrics is, um, oh god, now I'm blinking. Um, the chorus at least, uh, I don't want to be famous. I don't need to see my name in lights. I just want to mean something to the kids who cry themselves to sleep at night. <laughs> Kind of cheesy, kind of goofy, but, um, that's, that's all I want to do, is I, I just, I just want to mean something to someone that understands what I've been through and is going through a tough time in their lives, and no matter what you're facing, you'll get through it. I know it doesn't seem like it right now, but hold on. Don't give up yet. 
I'm gonna, I'm, I'm here to help, honestly. I literally don't care. Just comment on my videos, reach out to me on Instagram or Twitter or something. Tell me what you're going through and I'll tell you that I'm sorry. And I'll tell you that there is someone that cares. And that's what I wanna be as a musician. I wanna be able to hear people's stories and I wanna be able to tell them that life ain't easy, but if you find the right people to support you, you'll get there. I feel like that's a good place to end. <laughs> um, I hope you enjoyed spending some time with me. I apologize for the lack of covers lately. I've been kind of busy dealing with other stuff. Um, I should hopefully be back up and running. <sighs> On covers and getting some more content out in the next couple weeks. Bear with me. And yeah, September is going to be a fun month. The rest of August is going to be fun. Got a new Taylor Swift album coming out and I'm excited to do some more covers. Um, my birthday and anniversary are next month, so got some surprises planned. <laughs> uh, I hope you guys have a good day and don't be afraid to talk. Thank you.